always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fight... Ready? Okay, you ready? All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Big fall punch lands. Now we get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come. Oh, and now his opponent in a roller truck. Such a sneaky head kick she did not recognize this. Hodge, now he's got a hurt back. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got him bad! All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop us. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hips, push him away to try to escape. In a very, very deep position. How about that chin? Yeah, he fixed it all up. Side control now. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. By him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Back of a straight punch as we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Look at the he's out! Over. Oh my goodness! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended.